everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Roy Jennings. I'm a senior here at the university. Um, my major is sport business. My minor is business administration. And I live in a small, in a small town about 20 minutes from here called Randolph, Ohio. So the person I interviewed was Adam Liverman. He is the director of public and media relations for the Cleveland Indians uh, minor league affiliate, uh, the Akron Rubber Ducks, which was formerly known as the Akron Arrows. Uh, so a little bit about Adam. He graduated in 1998 at the uh, Ohio University, uh, where he studied journalism. And then during his undergrad years, he worked uh, part-time for the Akron Beacon Journal. And this, this is where he wrote uh, high school stats and small stories like that. Also during his undergrad, he worked for the Akron Arrows as an intern. And then also with the Akron Racers, all in the field he is doing now, uh, public relations and media. So after graduation in 1998 in, in that summer, he started working for the Atlanta Braves uh, as their, uh, their director of media relations. And then in 2012, a job opened up with the Akron Rubber Ducks. And so he, that's where he's been since. And then, so I chose Adam. He wasn't my first choice. I actually tried uh, getting one of two other people. So I contacted my director of ticket sales for my summer internship with the Akron Racers. Uh, for help and she got me in contact with him. So I messaged him on February 28th uh, through LinkedIn and unfortunately I couldn't get a hold of him that way. So on March 5th, I called the front office. They got me through to him right away. And then we had the interview the next day, March 6th, and it took about 45 minutes. So a typical day, it kind of depends on the season. On the off season, it's basically catching up on work, uh, getting ready for the upcoming season. And then uh, during the season, that's when things get busy. He's on the field doing stats, uh, player interviews, and things like that. So some of the challenges he faces is realizing he's not the Cleveland Indians. They're a small team, not too much television exposure. And then also just the busy season of baseball and just grinding through the entire season. So the training, he said he didn't really have to go through like a training process. Uh, he was pretty well ready, or he was ready for the position coming in through all the experiences he had in the past but all the interns there, they do go through training and he helps out with that and he said it keeps them young. So the workplace, like I said, it's a small, uh, it's a small uh, minor league team. The offices are actually connected, so he works really closely with the ticket sales, uh, promotions, finances, all the offices are kind of combined and they work together. So employee performance reviews, uh, he doesn't really go through like a review process. He does meet with the general manager uh, go over things that he's done in the past, things that uh, he's going to do in the future, and things he can improve on, stuff like that. So for the must read, he recommended me to read Hank Aaron, the biography, uh, mainly because he was a huge Hank Aaron fan, but also Ball Four, which was about a pitcher, uh, Jim Booten in the minor leagues that struggled up and down through the minors and in the league, and just a motivational story. Some advice, the sport industry is about the books you read and the people you know, so basically it's important to know what's going on in the sport industry and how to do, or how to know what you want to do, kind of things like that, but also networking mainly in your undergrad years and like I said, networking. Uh, and also more advice, go into a career that you're passionate about. He loves baseball, he's extremely passionate about it, but he didn't go into this field because he's passionate about baseball, he went into it because he's passionate about writing. Also, uh, being in public relations, it's hard to, uh, Measure effectiveness. He said it's one of those things, like I said, he's really passionate about it, but uh, you just gotta do it and do it well. There's no way to really measure like how well you're doing in this field. In conclusion, uh, the interview I had, like I said, took 45 minutes. I thought we had a great conversation. I learned a lot about Adam's past and uh, I thought his, his, his experiences were really cool. And then um, it kind of helped me uh, realize like, I could do something like this in the field maybe uh, one day. And then thank you, does anyone have any questions?